What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of E-Electric Productions. Today I'm bringing you basically two games in one. I'm bringing you Broforce mixed with Risk of Rain. So we've got a side scroller, almost bullet hell, chaotic, terrain destructible, mixed with a roguelike, more tactical, lots of upgrades are available. Those two games mash together and you've got Hexpoint. And Hexpoint has a lot of promise to it. Let's jump in right now and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So really quick, this is Unity based, not a lot of options here in the main menu, no graphical options. Help shows you two different control layouts that are available to you, mouse and keyboard, or playing with the controller like I am. And then we jump right into start, and we're meted, excuse me, meted, oh man, we're met here by Roger from American Dad, who works the, uh, the shop for you. There are lots of different upgrades. Uh, available for purchase here like a lot the game says in the steam menu there's like 70 different uh, different upgrades available and then over here we've got inventory where we can equip what we've purchased here we can choose which character we want to play as and there are quite a few characters from serious to funny all kinds and they all play differently too so I've been using gunner here I'm actually gonna switch over to Conrad Conrad's a little faster moving. This board here gives you tips and tricks for the game. And then there's a Halloween level here, and then there are six other levels on this side. And this is gonna take me to the forest level and brings us to the first issue, unfortunately, that I have with this game. And I'll tell you right off the bat, this game, there's enough time, effort, energy, and love and care put into it that I can tell it's got, it's got a lot of potential. It's not there yet. I would say at this point, it is an early access, so they're still working on it, so everything's good, and I'd say it's on a good track right now. Um, I think the the end is in sight, and they could definitely reach their goal and bring a game to Steam that is worth your time, attention, money. But right now, there's got a few issues that really hold it back, so unless you really wanted to support these guys, I would hold off on early access if you're looking for a polished, ready-to-play game, uh, which I know kind of goes against the whole early access idea anyway, but be that as it may. So one of the issues is there's only three modes here for each level. Endless, Onslaught, and Warpath. Endless is just that. It's an endless mode. You can play forever. In Onslaught and Warpath, there's an obelisk you're trying to reach and attain, and there's a mini-boss that you have to fight before you get the obelisk, and then you've, you've completed the level. And uh, Endless, yeah, it's an endless mode. Onslaught, there is more high-ranking enemies. Elite enemies are more prevalent. And Warpath has where the screen is constantly pushing you to the right. There is a force field on the left-hand side that if it touches you, it's an insta-death. So you're just immediately gibbed as soon as it touches you. There is no normal mode. There's no vanilla mode here. Devs, if you're listening, I like what you're doing. You may want to add in like just a, a regular mode where people can just practice and have less stress. Maybe have them earn only half the credits that they would earn in one of the other modes. I don't know, but it, it may be worth looking into. So we'll do endless mode just because that way we're not going against these elites or having the screen pushing us constantly, which takes away a lot of your ability to uh, think and work tactically. So you've got a ranged attack, a melee attack, and then your special attack, which you just saw there. Now, if the game was just this, where you were just side-scrolling like this and fighting, I really wouldn't have any qualms with it. The issue that I have is right here. You can bounce back attacks, which is really awesome. You do need to be careful of your jetpack. If you just try to sit here and tap your jetpack to fly um, in sort of a level plane, you are absolutely going to run out of fuel very, very quickly. It's these sky attacks that really will do you in quickly. Because if you're trying to use mail, or I'm sorry, if you're trying to use your ranged attacks while you're sitting there trying to use ranged, I'm already almost dead. I'm gonna let my stuff kind of refill here, and I'm dead. And that's my other issue with the game. It's actually too difficult. Um, it's too chaotic and too difficult. There's going to be a very small group of people out there that are like, yes, finally a game with some real challenge to it. But I don't know if this is challenge as much as it's just so chaotic that it's... It's a fine line and I feel like this game treads too closely to not being so much difficult, it's just straight up chaotic. Because I don't really have much control over what I'm doing right now. This is the 
usually the best that I do in the game is when I sort of just go like this and I'm dead. When I'm just sort of plowing ahead, utilizing my melee as quickly as possible, thus bouncing back a lot of the shots coming down from overhead. I usually stay kind of burrowed beneath the earth a little bit there, and that's about the farthest I get. What I'd like to see is, you know, when you were playing Broforce, you had control over what was happening, you know what I mean? Like you, yeah, things got pretty crazy, but you never felt like it was just out of control. On this one though, I definitely do feel like it gets just out of control very quickly, in fact. And then you can die like that. I mean, it, really quickly, you can just be game over. And for a game where it's a, you know, it's a roguelike and, uh, or roguelite, and, you know, it's like, well, is that that big of a deal? Kind of. Uh, it kind of is because it it lends an element of frustration to the game that I don't think they were really going for. Uh, versus Risk of Rain, which also was very tactical, but could get frustrating. I mean, sometimes you just be dealt a bad hand. But even in that game, you, you could retreat and come back. In this, there's not a lot of room for retreat. <laughs> there's really, especially if you're playing in the mode where it's, it's you know, pushing you. Uh, then there's there's really no retreat. And if it wasn't for the enemies up top, I'd say that this is a lot more doable. Or if you could even fire your ranged weapon upwards. But you can't. You cannot fire your ranged weapon upwards. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. You're, you're pushing across. Now, again, we're playing in the endless mode right now, which means there is no obelisk to reach and no mini-boss to fight. Uh, so we'll head back to home base here. We earned a fair amount of currency. So we're almost at 10,000. Now, I had played a little bit before. So let's take a look at some of these. Uh, you know what? I'm going to use my mouse here to make it easier. So 20,000 for Death Punch, Death Blade is 70,000. So a lot of these are very, very expensive. So gun damage, yep, let's buy gun damage. Uh, what else can we afford here? I know that there's one a little farther down here. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mini nuke. I mean, you can see there's a lot of different options here, which I totally applaud the devs. That's awesome. I love games which have, you know, lots of variety and different ways that I can attack the level. Uh, but here, I'm just concerned that unless they tune things back a little bit. Oh, oh no, I don't. Thrill Seeker actually reduces your max health to one HP. Uh, so I'm going to forego that. Okay, so that's all that we can really afford right now. So let's try this Halloween level. And I'll show you guys, um, I'll show you Onslaught. And just for the record, I have tried it with a mouse and keyboard as well. I was kind of hoping that it would allow me to, you know, shoot in different directions. Uh, but no, it doesn't. You can shoot basically left and right. So Onslaught, like I said, adds a lot more of these elite enemies. And I'm dead. <laughs> There's no block. I mean, you can reflect damage with your melee attack, which I was trying to do. Um, but that's... <laughs> I think you're starting to see here that it, it's... I feel so bad because I don't, I don't want to be knocking the game. I mean, that's it. Like, There's not much else I can do. So, um, tell you what, we're going to go back to home base and I will show you... Let's just go to a different level. Oh, in case you're thinking like, well, yeah, this would be the easiest level. I actually found the level at the top, that jungle level, to be easier. But I'll show you Warpath. So Warpath is when the screen's kind of pushing you along. And the sparkly side there on the left uh, will insta-give you once it touches you. So you can see it's trying to catch up to me right now. So I got to move, move, move. So what I found for this mode is the best thing to do is to... And those elites, they're tough. They're no joke. So what I think is 
you'd have to pretty much do with this game is you would have to um, you have to grind and upgrade your character like a lot. But th then my question kind of is like, I mean, it's okay to grind. It's okay to grind and upgrade your character, but when you have to just grind through like miserable amounts of gameplay where you are just getting like rolled every single time you play, I, I don't know if that's a good design. And you don't, with this mode, I mean, you don't have time to sit there and try to back off and then, you know, push forward and back off and push forward. Like, nah, you gotta go. I want to stay underneath the elites there. it. You can do really well till you hit an elite and it'll fall on you and kill you almost just like that. You know, that fast. Um, so that's pretty much going to do it, guys. I mean, that's the game in a nutshell. At this point, I'd say if you really want to support the devs and you like the idea of what you're seeing here, then, then jump on it. Just know what you're getting into. And if you're waiting for a little bit more polish and maybe for them to, um, to balance things a little bit more, then I would hold off. Devs, I, I think there needs to be a vanilla mode, maybe um, a difficulty slider. I don't know. I know it'd be a lot more difficult, but I think the ideal thing to do here uh, would be what I saw in another game that I reviewed a while back, where you can kind of choose things a little bit to tweak the difficulty. So you could say, <clears throat> maybe you play without the aerial enemies, uh, turn the elites off. And of course, this would greatly impact how much currency you're getting uh, when you're playing with these different things turned off and on. I, and I, you know, I get that. But if there was a way for you to tweak that, I think this would be a lot more enjoyable. And then as you level up your character and become more robust, you can start turning those things on to increase the difficulty and increase your reward. Um, but I think right now that it may be too steep of an incline for new players jumping in. And it may turn a lot of people away, which is, I know what you're not wanting. Even if you want a hardcore game, you can keep these hardcore modes. And for people that are just like, nah, I just want to jump in and play hardcore, it's still available to those people to do. So that's my two cents. Again, I like what I'm seeing here. Good job, devs. Not trying to bash this one at all. Uh, we need more good games on Steam, and this one has a lot of promise. And uh, I think, I'm not sure if I showed you all of the characters really quick. I'll kind of run through them. Here's your first character, Gunner, Cynthia, Conrad, Cyborg, Frank, Super Elite, Xenobear, McCready, Graves, <clears throat> Dracula, the Baron, Beatrice's Dark Side, and the Headless Horseman. And they all have their own special weapons and uh, special attacks. So, really cool. I, I, like, uh, I, I like a lot of what's on display here. So guys, that's going to do it for me. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Look forward to seeing all of you guys on the next episode of Electric Productions. And until then, game on, everyone. Thank you.